All right, so our focus in this video is going to be uh, finding out what we have to know for this chapter one. All right, so now in chapter one, the things that you have to learn about, we have about five things that we have to know. First one, or I should say four. First one would be the types of data, okay? First, we have to know the types of data um, and we group them into two, okay, broad categories. One would be qualitative, Okay, qualitative, then the other one would be quantitative. So you're going to have to know this. Qualitative, then quantitative. Okay, so we're going to talk about these. And in quantitative, we're going to group it uh, into two. One would be discrete, and then the other one would be uh, continuous. So that's the first thing, types of data. That's the first thing we're going to cover the types of data. And as you're going to find out, we also have types of data that fall under quantitative and these are grouped or ungrouped, but we can't really uh, make an issue out of them. So uh, out of this type of differentiating, okay? It is another way of separating your data to say, this is group data, this is ungrouped data. But very important things that we have to know the definitions for and be able to analyze is discrete and continuous and then um, from qualitative, we just have to know what it is. So we'll find out each of these. What is qualitative? What is quantitative in its types? Then we go to the second thing which you're going to have to know. And this is going to be uh, the diagrams that we're going to be using to illustrate, okay? To illustrate the data, to represent the data, to make it make more sense, okay? So the, the diagrams that we're going to be using to illustrate data. And here we're going to have about seven of them, okay? So the, here we'll have, first one would be bar chart, okay? And then the other one would be a pie chart. So can you see these are charts? Bar charts, pie charts, okay? Some of you will hear the word bar graph, right? Now, these ones, these two are going to fall into uh, qualitative data, okay? These two are going to be part of qualitative data right we have like seven so this is will be our first roman one roman two right then the third one roman figure three is going to be your stem and leaf okay so stem and leaf diagram okay so you have a stem and leaf diagram and it's going to be the third one then the fourth one is going to be your histogram Okay, we'll say the histogram is going to be my fourth. Then my fifth is going to be my cumulative, is going to be my cumulative frequency graph or cumulative frequency curve. Okay, so let me just say cumulative frequency graph. Okay, sometimes or most of the times you hear it being called cumulative frequency curve. Then here on our six, we have the box and whisker plot box and whisker plot okay and then we have or oh, should i oh let me reorder because i want to group them like this let me put this one here i'm sorry um just starting to think i should uh this is going to be four this is going to be five this is going to be six and then on seven i'll have it like this and here i want to put some special code a vertical line graph vertical line as a graph you're going to have a vertical line as a graph right i hope you can see this now for this i want you to know that these two are going to be for discrete remember that discrete is a type of qualitative so we can say that these two will be for discrete right discrete data and then these are going to be for continuous data, okay? For continuous data, as you're going to see just now. But as we still know, all these would be for quantitative. All right, quantitative data. So yes, that's going to be the second. The first thing is to know the types of data. The second thing is the diagrams. We have to be good at this. All right, now what about the 
Thing number three. What is going to be the third important thing is we have to know, I can call them averages, okay? But they are also called the measures of central tendency, okay? Measures of central tendency. We'll talk more about them um, when we are doing them. So I don't want to talk too much about it to waste time. This is just an intro, right? And in here, we have three. One is mode. One is the mode, the other one is the mean, and the other one is the median. So these three guys tell you the middle value in different ways, okay? But all they want to do is to have a value represent your data. So, so we want to pick an average of our data, and these are the three, okay? Now, if, if uh, the next one is going to be, or we can call it the spread, or sometimes called measures of variation okay measures of variation now we want to see how our data varies okay because sometimes knowing the average alone is not enough because you could have two types of data having the same average but one the values would be like 30 31 32 okay these would give you an average of 31 if you do it we'll, you will see how to do it so now you could have them being something like say this becomes uh 10 and this is still 31 and this is 52 you still get an average of 31 so, but look at how how different these values are so sometimes yes the average would be the same the central tendency this one the average the same but we need to know more so that we can be able to analyze our data this data is shifting so much from 10 to 31 to 52. Okay, but this one is playing around the same values, 30, 31, 32. All right, so we need to be able to analyze and know how our data is behaving. And that is where the measures of center of variation come in. We want to see the spread. Okay, how our data is spread out. So here we have an example. One would be the range. And then the other one which we could talk about is the interquartile range. We can say IQR. Okay, which is the inter quartile range. Then on my third one, we would then have the variance. And then we can have again the standard deviation. Okay, so these are, these are measures of variation. Okay. Then we have number five, which is the fifth thing which you're going to look at. It's not really anything, but it's just going to be uh, the benefits of each, okay? The benefits of each of the measures, okay? And you'll be done with your chapter. So this is your chapter. These are the five things which you have to look at. And be sure you remember them as we're going to be going through them in the videos to come. All right. Bye for now.